When people offer their vocation stories, they often talk about an encounter with Jesus Christ. They might describe some sort of falling off their horse experience, or maybe talk about falling in love with Jesus Christ. But that's not my story. What I experienced was a more gradual turning towards something not yet recognizable. I was in my late 40s when this conversion began to unfold. A cradle Catholic, away from the church for a long time, I had only just begun to find my way back to God. I knew I wanted to make my everyday life more about what I believed in, but at first that was more about social justice issues than the practice of religion. Nevertheless, this desire led me from working in a bakery to becoming a first grade teacher in an underserved school in North Philadelphia, where even the best parents could not completely protect their children from the effects of systemic racism. The realization that these children were disposable to the society in which I lived literally brought me to my knees, crying out to God, what do you want from me? The answer came in the form of an accidental phone call directing me to a lecture given by the Assumption Sisters. I was told, you should go. These are interesting women and they wear purple. I went and here I am. I have come to see that my cry to the Father led to following his son, guided and empowered by the Holy Spirit. In the Assumption, I have found unpretentious women who do marvelous things, women who teach English to recent immigrants and counsel addicts, who create programs and prayer spaces that meet the needs of young people and families, women who know, know how to network, to build partnerships and empower others, women who know how to fix screens, bake wonderful Irish soda bread and comfort the dying, women whose love of the Lord and passion for his people have challenged me to see all of creation with the eyes of God. What keeps me in the assumption is my sisters in purple. Living in community, our life grounded in prayer, rooted in the incarnation and shaped by mother reality. Walking with our brothers and sisters into a future yet unknown, but full of the promise of the kingdom of God. These words of our foundress, St. Marie Eugenie, say it all. In the Assumption, all is from Jesus Christ. All belongs to Jesus Christ. All must be for Jesus Christ.